Hello there, it's Tyler here again, and today I'm going to be going over another plugin from Typewriter Audio, the Escape Artist. And what this is, is a delay, but the way it functions is a little bit different and a little bit cooler than just what you might think. Instead of measuring in time or beats or anything like that, this actually measures in a distance. And that's also shown by this little guy here, animated to run away and then be closer. Whatever you choose for your distance. And I believe what that means is the sound would be traveling towards this guy, bouncing off of him and then coming back. And it's measured in feet, which you could just type in up here. And so it can give you some pretty cool little effects and things and just have you think about delays in a different way since, of course, sound does have a speed. And me enjoying math and things like that, this is a fun little combination of just a different idea with a regular delay. So a quick overview, we have a pretty simple little setup here. It's just the distance will change the time, basically. You have a minimum and maximum size knob, and then just the overall dry-wet selection. And with those being the case, you can do some cool little stuff while watching a cool little guy while stealing from this building of fancy art. And I will link to the video by Typewriter Audio to kind of explain this in a little bit more technical detail because I think they do a better job than I would at doing that. But it does plenty of things with like Doppler effect sort of stuff, Haas effect, uh, and a number of other different auditory phenomena. But it's a fun plugin to play with, and that's just what I'm going to do right now. Just kind of mess around with some instruments going through it. And first, I'm just going to send a little GMS. And this is just it without anything. Pretty simple. But if we get this little delay on there... You can hear it moving. That's like the Doppler sort of stuff. He's getting further away, and then it's the sound is coming back and forth. So it does some cool little neural sort of stuff. I think that's the right word. Uh, but so here we go, just messing around with some knobs. So a lot of cool little things there. Again, not doing anything specifically like a precision delay sort of stuff. It's more of a specialty effect, I guess, sort of thing. But it's interesting how it goes about doing that with the sort of almost scientific kind of approach. And I like that sort of thing. Let's play with a couple other sounds here. Oh, I've got another one. Oh, what I did for this one, I put a patcher, have some... Peak controllers doing LFOs. And what those are then doing is controlling these knobs so that it automatically does a Doppler sort of thing. So. It does some weird stuff, but... Uh, Got some reverb. So that's pretty weird, huh? <laughs> but there's plenty of different things that you can do in that regard, just doing whatever you think might be cool at any certain moment. And so in my brain, I kind of think of it almost like a guitar pedal sort of thing, because under the hood, it's doing a lot of different things that I'm not necessarily thinking about on a regular basis, you know? So that complexity without really thinking about it kind of adds a little bit of magic to some stuff sometimes when it needs it. So like if we had just a really short stab of 
noise happening. We can kind of just hear a little bit of some specific kind of stuff happening. This is just the wet. It's doing some stuff to try to give you an auditory illusion of coming from in front and behind you and doing some stuff in a three-dimensional sort of way just by measuring in feet from the phantom center. And again, this sort of stuff is a little bit over my pay grade, but a lot of cool stuff goes into this. And again, it seems like a good company, good small stuff to kind of help support when possible. And I think that they can really get some good stuff out of it. So give it a look. I will link to everything in the bottom description. And then pretty soon I'm going to get back to you about doing some cool stuff on this channel. So thank you for watching so far, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.